Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking all about the second tutorial video that I've written for the website raywendelik.com. This one is an introduction to async and await in Unity. So today I just want to go over the sample project, uh, talk a little bit about the things that you'll learn in it, um, and go over kind of some of the differences between async and await and coroutines. So I'll leave a link to this article down in the description below. Um, also, I'll leave some links to the previous article that I wrote, as well as the kind of video overview that I did on my last article, which was an introduction into Text Mesh Pro in Unity. All right, so let's just get into the sample project here, and we can talk a little bit about the things that you learn. Um, so you see that it's kind of like a town builder type game where we basically have um, different roads and houses types that we can build. So let's just go ahead and start by building a straight road. You'll see that the cost is $1,000 here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and place this road where we want it to. You'll see that it starts um, going into like a constructed state. And then once it has been completed, then the road is actually been placed in the world here. You see that there is, um, you know, kind of this like little effect that pops up once the road is officially built that shows how much money it costs. Um, and then you'll see that it goes to basically our total city cost. So, you know, every time that we build a road or a house, it's going to add to this cost here. I can show you, we can add these uh, curved roads, and if we just press the space bar, we can kind of, uh, you know, rotate so these uh, roads can go in different directions. Same thing, of course, with the straight roads, we can, uh, you know, rotate this to go this different way here. Now, these things are basically being built all with the async and await keywords, um, which, you know, doing something simple like this, you could probably get away with using coroutines, um, but there are some other options for, like, specifically doing more complex things, such as building houses that make uh, the async and await just a whole lot easier to use. So, you know, same thing with houses, we can kind of press the space bar to rotate through. Um, but let's just go ahead and place this house right here. Uh, you'll see that this house actually builds in a number of different steps. So they kind of, you know, the frame is built, the fence is built, uh, the roof is built, and then finally the full house is built. And you'll see that those, you know, obviously cost much more than just the individual road pieces. Now, the interesting thing is, is if we, um, you know, kind of build one of these other houses, um, kind of the, the fence and the roof, they can actually be built asynchronously. They can uh, basically be completed in either order. As long as the frame of the house has been built first, then the uh, fence as well as the roof can be built after that. Um, and these basically can be happening side by side. They don't you know, necessarily depend on each other. They only depend on the completion of the basically the frame of the house. And then of course the final house, it depends on all the other steps being completed. So I kind of show you um, how to kind of manage those dependencies for the uh, you know async and await functions. Now, an important thing to note about these async and await functions is how they differ from coroutines. Um, you know, as at first glance, you might think, you know, oh, we can probably just kind of make these uh, things with coroutines here. And I totally misclicked on building that straight road. So we have a little uh, mistake there. But, um, you know, it differs a little bit when we actually go to build the house. You'll see that um, it doesn't have an actual cost here. It's only an estimated cost. So the estimated cost is between uh, 180000 and 390000 um, So basically what's happening here is, um, you know, each of these steps in the building house process kind of takes like a random interval of time. Basically, the longer that it takes, the more that it will cost. That's just kind of how I've, I've calculated that in this case. Um, and you'll see that, you know, as we place these different houses down, they end up costing a different amount of money when they're uh, finalized. So basically, the idea is we don't know what the final cost of the house is going to be when we initially build the house. It only takes until the house is actually being finished until we can actually display the final cost to the player. Basically, the idea is the cost of each step of the house is kind of, you know, calculated one at a time. And then finally, once all those steps have been completed, they're, you know, added together and added to the full cost of the house. Now, the thing with coroutines is it's not necessarily easy for us to return results from coroutines. Um, and then you know use that to like calculate things within our world uh, for asynchronous programming it's a lot easier we can basically just you know return values from each of these asynchronous functions and then once they've all been completed you know maybe we can do some extra operations on them um, so like in this case we basically add all the values together and then display them to the player and then add them to the total city cost so that's kind of the sample project here so if you actually go to the site you can download these starter as well as the final projects um, so you can kind of play around with this yourself now, if you do decide to follow along with the article this is basically the script 
script that we're going to be writing here. Um, it's called the construction manager script. And you'll see that we're basically using the uh, async and await functions here. And then we start with kind of some basic things, you know, basically just building some simple roads. And then we get into some more complex things such as building houses. You'll see that, um, you know, these building houses, it, it will take a number of these tasks um, that return an integer for that integer cost of, you know, how much each step of the house building process costs. And then you'll see finally at the end, we'll just go ahead and add up the results and return the total house cost. And then we do even get a little bit more complex. We get into um, task cancellation a little bit, which is something that's really important because it can lead to some kind of weird glitches if you're not, um, you know, careful about your properly managing the tasks that are running and properly canceling them. And then you see that I'm using the try and catch braces here to just go ahead um, and catch any task cancellation on here. And so yeah, definitely go check out this article if you're interested. I know this is, um, you know, a little bit more of an intermediate topic. Um, I'm glad that I kind of, you know, experimented with something a little bit more advanced this time around with uh, my article here. Um, I definitely had a bunch of fun creating this article. And I think this is like a super interesting topic, um, something that I hadn't necessarily explored a lot prior to writing this article. So I'm glad that it, you know, kind of forced me to uh, go out and kind of learn some more as well as experiment with building this fun little sample project. And I do kind of want to experiment with some async and await stuff a little bit more. I do feel like I'm, you know, just kind of scratching the surface almost with this stuff. I think there's um, a lot more cool things that we can do with this. Um, and yeah, really happy to write this article on here. Hope you do enjoy it. Um, would really want to thank all these people who were involved in the creation of this project. As you can see, there were a number of people who contributed to this. So it's not just me writing it, um, but there were a number of editors and you know artists along the way to um, kind of help this out and really make this article what it is today. I think the um, you know final article that we've came up with um, is really great. You'll definitely learn a lot if you're interested in that kind of thing. Anyways, I do hope you go check out that article article and you do enjoy it, um, let me know if there are any other articles that you want to see me writing. I haven't picked out the uh, topic for my next article just quite yet. So let me know if there's anything that you're interested in. Maybe you want to see uh, some more dot stuff, maybe some more introduction to uh, intermediate level topics, because, um, you know, I think those are going to be really interesting for everybody. But anyways, that's just about going to do it for today's video. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.